Vegetarian lettuce wrap. So let's begin. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of corn flour, a teaspoon of sugar, three fourth of a cup, about 175 ml of water, Then I'm going to give this a good stir until everything is mixed together. Now I'm going to keep this aside and move on to my next step. Into my wok, I'm going to put in three tablespoons of oil. And into this oil, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. The Chinese use a lot of ginger in their cooking and ginger is one of the ingredients common to many Asian cuisines. And once the ginger is nicely fried, I'm going to put in half a cup of finely chopped cabbage, half a cup of finely cut carrots, half a cup of finely chopped beans, I'm going to stir this for a minute and then add half a cup of cooked corn. The vegetables being stir fried together are creating a nice sizzling sound. Now I'm going to stir fry this for about 3 to 4 minutes. Now I'm going to lower the heat and put in my corn flour mixture. I'm stirring this once again to make sure that the corn flour is uniformly dissolved into the water. Then I'm going to pour it right into the vegetables. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of soya sauce. I have a roasted dry chili and now I'm going to crush it up and add that in as well. Some freshly ground pepper. And then some salt to bring in all the flavors together. and it smells lovely over here. And this is done. Now I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of roasted and finely cut walnuts, and this will add more flavor and bring texture to this dish. I have some iceberg lettuce here that has been soaking in ice cold water. It is very important to soak your lettuce in ice cold water because what it does is it crisps up the lettuce and prevents it from going soggy. So do not miss this step. Now I'm going to pat the lettuce dry with a paper towel and I'm using iceberg lettuce over here and you can also use coarse lettuce or romaine lettuce. Now I'm going to put in my stir fried vegetables into my lettuce cups. And the final step is to garnish these with some julienne carrots and some roasted sesame seeds. So if you liked watching me make this refreshing and healthy dish, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.